is so great to see you this morning, and I can't wait to share today's Bible story with you. I think you're really going to like it. Hey, Pastor Steve. Oh, hey, Pascal. What's wrong? I'm really mad at Roger the Rat. He knocked me over during cheese ball practice and sucked on my tail, and he didn't even stop to see if I was okay. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. How's your tail feeling right now? a little sore, but I'm really angry at Roger for doing that. Oh, I'm so sorry you're feeling angry, but you know what? Maybe today's Bible story will help with that. What's it about? Well, it's a story about a boy named Joseph, and his brothers did something really mean and terrible to him. But you know what? With God's help, Joseph was able to forgive his brothers. And that's our Bible point for today. Jesus helps us forgive others. Hmm, I know that the Bible talks about forgiveness, but I'm not sure I can forgive Roger. Well, let's listen to today's Bible story and see if that helps. Jacob had 12 sons, but Joseph, was the favorite. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children. He treated Joseph better than all of the other brothers. Jacob gave Joseph a fancy coat with lots of colors. It was a beautiful coat. The other brothers were jealous of that beautiful coat. They wanted one just like it. They became angry with Joseph and they were mean to him. Now, even though Joseph was a little brother, Jacob made him the boss of his older brothers. When the brothers would do something wrong, Joseph would tell them. That made the brothers jealous and angry. Was that good? No. The brothers took care of their father's sheep. One day, Joseph went to check on them. It was a long walk for Joseph to find his brothers. When the brothers saw him coming, they said, Here comes the dreamer. He thinks he's so smart and better than we are. Let's get him. His brothers grabbed Joseph. Then the brothers tore off Joseph's coat and they threw him into a hole in the ground. Joseph was hurt and afraid. Was that good? No. Some traders came by with camels. Traders are people who buy things from one person to sell the things to someone else. One brother said, let's sell Joseph. The brothers did and the traders took Joseph to a far away country named Egypt. In Egypt, Joseph was a slave and went to prison. Was that good? No. Lots of bad things happened to Joseph, but God was always with him. Why should you never tell secrets in a cornfield? They have too many ears. That there was funny. What do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. <laughs> Made you laugh. What do you call a sheep with no legs? A cloud. <laughs> Albert out. Peace. Let's get him. His brothers grabbed Joseph. Then the brothers tore off Joseph's coat and they threw him into a hole in the ground. Joseph was hurt and afraid. Was that good? No. Some traders came by with camels. Traders are people who buy things from one person to sell the things to someone else. One brother said, let's sell Joseph. The brothers did and the traders took Joseph to a far away country named Egypt. In Egypt, Joseph was a slave and went to prison. Was that good? No. Lots of bad things happened to Joseph, but God was always with him. One day, God gave Joseph the chance to help the king. The king was so grateful that he set Joseph free from prison and put him in charge of all of Egypt. Then Joseph's family came to live in Egypt. God helped Joseph to forgive his brothers from hurting him. 
It was a Christ-like forgiveness, a forgiveness that restores relationships. Did you know that forgiveness is something that we can give even when we're still hurt by what happened? Our feelings may still hurt for a time, but we can talk to Jesus and ask him to heal our hearts so that we can forgive. When Joseph told his brothers that he forgave them for hurting him, they couldn't believe it at first. It didn't seem possible to them. When they realized he meant it, they were so happy. They started hugging Joseph. They all lived happily together. Was God's plan good? Yes. Do you know that God has a unique and specific one-of-a-kind plan for your life? Even when bad things happen, God's plans are still good. Do you trust God's plan? Each morning, pray and ask God to help you follow the plan that he has for you for that day. Did you know that many years later, one of Jesus' friends sold him? People put Jesus on a cross to die? Jesus' friends made a bad plan, but God's plans are still good. God wanted Jesus to die for our sin so that everyone who trusts him can be saved. And that's our story. Wow, if Jacob could forgive his brothers for selling him into slavery, maybe I can forgive Roger. That's right, Pascal, and don't forget today's Bible point. Jesus helps us forgive others, and you can pray and ask for help. Okay, can you pray with me right now, Pastor Steve? Sure. Dear Jesus, we pray for Pascal. Would you help him to be able to turn his anger into love and his sadness into joy? And we also pray that you would help him repair his relationship with Roger so the two of them can become better friends despite what happened. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Pastor Steve. I'm starting to feel better already. I'm going to talk to Roger tomorrow. Maybe it was just an accident, but I want him to know how it made me feel, but that I forgive him and still want to be his friend. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Pascal, and that's a great idea. Have an adventurous week, everyone. Adventure Kids, this is the part of the show where you send in your questions to me, Jake, and I answer them. So let me grab my mailbag. Hi Jake, is it okay to tell a little white lie to avoid hurting someone's feelings for Mariah? That is an awesome question. And a really hard question. We should always tell the truth. But sometimes the truth can hurt someone's feelings. So people sometimes choose to tell a little white lie to avoid sharing the truth and hurting someone. But God wants us to be honest with each other. Let me give you an example. Suppose your friend is learning to play the guitar and they share a song with you. But it's really bad. I mean, really bad. Then they ask you what you thought. I'll give you three possible responses. Here's what it looks like with truth without grace. That was terrible. I've never heard anything worse in my life. Here's the little white lie version. Wow, that was great. I love listening to you play. And here's the truth with grace response. Well, to be honest, it wasn't very good, but I can tell that you've worked really hard. And if this is like other things you work hard at, you'll keep improving and be really good soon. So please don't give up because I know you can really do it. So the key is to do something Jesus was really amazing at, telling the truth with grace. That means telling the truth, but in a loving way that helps people know you see the best in them. Awesome question. Hi Jake, can you do a ballet dance from Nora? That is an awesome question. Let's find out. So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website takeawaywithjake.com and I'll be happy to answer your question right here on the show.
Thank you.